Au revoir. Water, the habitat of gods, culture heroes, porpoises and mermaids in the mythologies of America's first peoples. In the Tupi Guarani language, the word for water is E, a primordial sound echoing back through time immemorial. Resounding back to when dinosaurs roamed the earth, when sandy deserts of the Mesozoic era covered the region, and when South America and Africa were one continent. As the rift opened, separating the South American and African continents, flows of basaltic lava surged up through the cracks, burying layers of sand. Lava hardened into basalt. Climate change wrought intense glaciation. Thawing ice caused erosion and outcropping of sandy layers that absorbed and stored water beneath the basalt. Over ensuing millennia, trapped in the sandy strata between the layers of fractured basalt, Huge quantities of water formed the Guarani Aquifer System, one of the largest fresh groundwater reserves on the planet. Não se trata eh, de pensar a rocha e a água de maneiras separadas. No aquífero, rocha e água constituem um mesmo eh, corpo onde a água está armazenada nos pequenos poros entre os grãos minerais da rocha ou entre as fraturas. Located in the geological region of the Paraná Basin in southeastern South America, the Guarani Aquifer straddles the borders of Argentina, Brazil, Paraguay and Uruguay. It extends over a total area of some 1,190,000 square kilometers, of which 225,000 are in Argentina, 850,000 in Brazil, 70,000 in Paraguay, and 45,000 are in Uruguay. Many towns in the south-central region of South America are located on the 